Okay, we are officially out of space here in the My 50 shed. We've just got a container coming in from Japan. We've been bidding on the Japanese motorcycle auctions and buying bikes for clients and dealerships. And the most exciting part of all of this is we've now created software that allows you to bid directly from our website and buy your dream bike from Japan. So come with me and let me show you how. So first of all, you'd head off to my50.com, go to the auctions tab. Uh, it's free to register and log in and to create an account. So you'll, you can do that over here. But before you do that, what I'd suggest is just take a little read through. We go through an explanation here. So if you're unsure, there's always a reference point as to how these auctions work, what the screens are, what you should be looking out for. It's very important to understand what the laws are in your country with bringing in secondhand bikes. A lot of bikes have laws around ABS braking. So really understand what the laws are in your country. There's also a ranking system. The bikes are ranked from damaged or no rank right the way through up to a 10. 10 obviously being the mint condition, almost new bike. I sort of try, like I like to buy in the mid range, anywhere between four and up. Sometimes I'll go to a three, depending on, on what kind of bike it is and whether or not I want to restore it. it. Goes a little bit further down, tells you about the costs involved, payments, the discounts, how you have, what you need to know, uh, all our terms and conditions and all that information is all available to you here. At any time if you need to contact us just hit the contact us button and feel free to give us a call send us an email and we can help you through. Um, so here we'll go back to the registration you click over here to register your account or to log on if you're a returning member. I obviously already have an account so it logs me straight in and then there's different search criteria that you can have to look for your bikes. You can search first by maker. Uh, interesting fact on these Japanese motorcycle auctions, not only Japanese motorcycles, but you can get any kind of bike. Italian bikes, German bikes, Japanese bikes, Austrian bikes, you name it, they're all over here. So if you're looking for a, a bike from a specific country, these are the bikes that are available. You then have a basic search. Um, I find when looking generally for bikes, this is the search criteria that I would use the most because it brings the broadest amount of results. And if you've got a lot of time, that way you see a lot of things, which I'll take you through a little bit later in this video. Then lastly, there's the advanced search, which is if you really want to drill down into the year, the mileage, the type of engine, start price, what kind of maker, uh, model, all of the stuff that's here, even as far as going to what color you want it to be. I do find that using this search box that it is really refined and often will not re return searches purely because it's really looking for a specific kind of bike. So just to give you an example, so let's say for example we want to look at Hondas today. We're not very specific so we're just going to go search all Hondas and it will bring back all the Hondas that are going to be coming up for auction on the specific dates. Normally the auctions are about two weeks in advance so you can see for about two weeks in advance and you can see here we have pages and pages of bikes, all kinds of bikes, big bikes, small bikes, anything. That's not going to help us today. Let's say for example we want to look for Honda monkey bikes. So we go Honda and then we'll come down to this list over here. And the reason why I want to show you this is you'll see here there's CBRs and let's see Z50 is what we're looking for. There's nothing under Z50. If there isn't the name that you're looking for, try other versions of what it might be. So for example, I know that Z50s are often called monkeys and there you'll see it over there. There's 40 monkeys available. Another example will be a Honda DAX, which is normally a DAX or an ST50, ST70. In America, they're called Honda Trails or CT50s or CT70s. But here in Japan, they're known, known as a Dux, Dux, and the spelling is a little bit different. So these are some small nuances that you'll just get used to with um, looking for the specific kind of bike that you want. Um, so bear that in mind when you have these lists. Okay, so monkey, we're looking for monkeys today. We'll have a look at what this returns. And these are all the monkey bikes that are going to be coming up for auction over the next sort of two weeks. These will change all the time as the auctions come and go. The stock will change, the condition of the bikes and everything will also change. So I'm quite interested in this little guy here. This is a Honda Z50M. These have become very collectible little bikes over time. And in this case, I'm actually looking for one for one of my clients. So we're going to have a look at what we've got available here. 
Once we go into the screen, you'll notice that it gives you a lot more information about the bike. Uh, there's some individual photos where you can see the general condition of the bike. These are just a broad view of what the bike is like, what the condition's like, and you can have a look and go through all of those. It's very important to, to understand what you're buying. So if you're not sure, click on the link over here, contact us, and we'll gladly help you through any questions that you that you have. Now, if you remember, I was telling you about the ranking system. Here you can see how this bike has been ranked. It's been ranked as a four. They normally rank the bike as the engine score, electrical score, indicators, lights and brakes, etc. Front, rear, all of that. So the engine is a three, not exactly immaculate, but it's uh, definitely at least a 50 year old bike. And at a three, from my experience, I can say that we're pretty okay. But we'll be able to see a bit later down um, what the actual engine is like, because there are some videos which we will get to a little bit later. Okay, so that's the ranking of the bike. There's some more detail about the bike here, which the auction house themselves have put in place. So make sure you've read through all of that to understand the condition of the bike that you're buying. In this case, I'm using a Honda Monkey, but the same thing will apply to regardless of what bike you're buying, whether it's a scooter, a tourer, a sports bike, no matter what. You also get these individual photos, which will give you real close-ups of what the bike is like, where you can start to see engine numbers. Uh, you can see here like small details where that's not the original bolts, possibly not the original manifold. So from a collectible point of view, these are the really tiny things that you should be aware of. I also like to look for these thumbnails with the finger because when there's a finger, it's where they're pointing out where there's some distinct damage that might not be visible on the photo. So for example, on this one, you can see here on the brake pedal that we have some scratching there. Um, not a major thing, but once again, like I said, for collectors, they are looking for as immaculate as possible. I know that that's a very replaceable part, so it's not gonna really affect our bidding at this stage. Then last but not least, you have a video of the bike. So this is where you can see the indicators, the lights, does the bike run? What does it sound like when it's running? All of that kind of stuff. So let's take a listen. There's also another angle, so you can see from both angles. This no, the reason why they normally do the angles is so that you can see. Uh, this is another angle over here. The, the reason why they do these angles is because you wanna be able to see all around the bike and are all the lights and indicators working. So there you go, I'm not gonna go through the whole video. And um, in this example, this is a 1960s bike, late 60s bike, I, I think from experience. And um, no lights and indicators on this bike except in the front there. So that will give you a general overview of the kind of um, condition that the bike's in that you're gonna be looking to buy. And once you're happy, you can then come up here to place your bid. Now, if you're not sure on what to bid, um, it's good to sit and browse through this the auction sites and get an idea of what these bikes are selling for. There's a nice tool over here. This is a really great tool where you can go into the sold prices of bikes. Once you go into the sold prices, you can once again look at bikes, similar bikes, and what they've sold for in the past. Let's see if we can quickly go in there. So let's do the same thing over here. And we'll go down to Honda and Monkey again. Got to go a little bit further. There we go. 26,000 monkeys have already sold. Wow. So here you'll be able to see, once again, it'll have the photos of the bike. You can click into it as we did before. And there's the result price of whether it's sold or not. So going through this and starting to study them, you'll be able to understand what bike sold for and what the value of the bike is so that when you come back to place your bid over here, you understand what value you need to place. In order to place your bid, all you do is you put in the number that you want there. And just remember, it's multiples of a thousand for Japanese yen. So if you want to bid a hundred thousand yen, you only put in the hundred times a thousand, which is the red numbers there. And effectively, you'll be bidding a hundred thousand yen for this bike. All bids are done on an FOB basis, which stands for free on board meaning all the local um, fees will be included. And if you're bidding 100,000 yen, then that's the price you'll be paying for the bike. 
Having said that, bear in mind there are still shipping charges, GST charges, and all of that kind of stuff, um, as well as the administration fees that come on top of that, uh, which you will find in the information pages over here on the My50 site. Okay, or give us a call or send us an email, and we'll be able to help you through that. So you're going to want to bid 100,000 yen. This is just an example. This bike will go probably closer for about. Uh, I'd say a million yen. This bike, a very collectible bike, um, anywhere from 800,000 to a million yen, maybe more, who knows, but definitely not 100,000. Um, you only pay if you win, you only pay the commissions if you win, so feel free to bid on as many bikes as you like. I use this section over here, the notes section, to um, just type in engine check, engine and chassis number, and chassis number because I'm buying this for a collector, I want matching engine and chassis numbers. So I put that in there to make sure that the final bid understands that a matching engine and chassis number. Uh, you then put the bid, which will send an email to the My50 crew, and we will then make contact with you to confirm your bid, confirm that we have the right lot number, and then place the final bid. These auctions are dynamic and they happen really fast. So um, this auction will be running on this date here. It's the 23rd of the month, 27. And the, the results will be available the same day, um, later in the evening or the next day. So you can always come and check once again through the sold prices. If you didn't win, what the bike sold for. The more you, you practice and the more you sit with bidding and looking at what, what bikes sold for, the better understanding you'll get of the market and will give you a better opportunity of winning bids at the correct price. So yeah, so that's the bidding system, which you can find here at my50.com. And yes, we look forward to helping you find your, the bike of your dreams. If you have any questions, just go up through the contact us section, send us an email, give us a call, and we'll help you through the process. Just want another one! You see, that's how easy it is to win motorbikes in Japanese motorcycle auctions. If we can help you find your dream bike, get in touch today. We'd love to help you.